where he also made some headlines for comments on a podcast where he doesn't believe in the moon landing. And by the way, I want to single just Steph out because your cousin there, Vince Carter, and Andre Iguodala, and Kent Bazemore all agreed the moon landing might not have taken place, that they think there is weight to that conspiracy theory. Although it is a conspiracy theory, and we have seen this previously with Jordan Clarkson and dinosaurs <laughs> and Kyrie Irving and Flat Earth. Now we have another and many people are really pissed. So here is what Stephen Curry said on this podcast, as Rachel Nichols said, Kent Bazemore, Andre Iguodala, Vince Carter and Steph. Here was the exchange. Have we ever been to the moon? No. Nope. Nope. They gonna come get us. I don't think so. <laughs> Sorry, I don't want to start the conspiracy. You don't think so? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh, oh, oh. So, <laughs> Sports Illustrated actually named the Golden State Warriors as the uh, sports person of the year. Might want to make that plural. Uh, nonetheless, here is what occurred. Uh, they shifted gears asking if they believe the United States had put a person on the moon. Oh. And uh, The Hill put this out, and then I want to get Robert to say, the United States' Apollo 11 was the first manned mission to land on the moon in 1969. The Times notes that NASA landed men on the moon six times from 69 to 72. And then CNN tweeted this out with Stephen Curry putting an emoji on top of it. NASA has offered to give Steph Curry a tour of one of its lunar labs after he said that he doubts that there was landing on the moon. I understand. Do we have Tony Kornheiser, by the way? Do we have the PTI thing? Man, they were hot. They were pissed. So, oh, they were mad. Oh, they were mad. Like seriously? It was, oh yeah. Oh wow. yeah. Kornheiser wow. was ticked. So, wow. let me see if I could find it. Um, but nonetheless, m the main narrative today is: look at what he's doing. Think about the kids. What about the? We have it. All right, hit me with it. Tony let me, Kornheiser, let me, let me, let me see. really mad. Let me see. And so I'm gonna get, get look at the camera it. and say this, and I'm gonna say this both to Steph Curry and Kyrie Irving, who I don't think is joking. I'm gonna say this is anti-intellectual and it's anti-science. It should embarrass you, it should embarrass your families, it should embarrass the fine schools you went to, Davidson and Duke in the same state. It should embarrass the NBA. It's not a position to take. Wow. Wow. I told you. <laughs> I, I, I told I just, you it's pissed. I, I, I don't understand why he's so upset. You know, people joke, people play around, people on podcasts. You know what? You know what the interesting thing is? Mm. Is that as soon as I think Curry was trolling everybody, and I tell you why. Right. As soon as he said it, you know what he said? They're gonna come for us. <laughs> it's almost like he set it up. Right. Like, I'm gonna say something a little crazy. Uh, and I'm gonna see what happens. I'm gonna see if they're really gonna take this seriously. I mean, it's CNN. It's them getting all upset about it. it it's stupid. I mean, it's stupid. <laughs> I mean, first off, let me tell you something. That first moon landing is a little shaky. All right. I, I believe, you know, that that's I can see the earth is round. I mean, mm -hmm. we have pictures for that. Mm -hmm. I can look up at moons and things like that to see that there's round things in the sky. Okay. Uh, the moon landing, yeah, it's, it's a little suspect in the sense of that. We really wanted to beat the Russians to it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we're going to do it by any means necessary. Mm -hmm. So I'm not saying we haven't been to the moon since then. I'm saying it's not so much of a crazy conspiracy. But even if it is, it's stupid to get mad about. There's so many more things to get mad about. Why are you, he, he why was, I don't understand. I need to talk to Tony because I'm confused by that. You should talk to Tony because that is the softest I've ever heard Tony Kohenheiser speak. Like when he walked out of the womb, he was like, oh, come on, Will Bond. Like I've never heard him in wow. that soft manner tone. Like, oh my. He was really upset. Oh, it was adorable. <laughs> so uh, the NASA spokesman has something <laughs> for you and Steph Curry. Oh, wow. We have hundreds of pounds of moon rock stored here mm. in the Apollo mission control. During his visit, he could see firsthand what we did 50 years ago, as in stuff, mm. as well as what we're doing now to go back to the moon in the coming years, but this time to stay. Can I go? Can we go to the moon? Would they have Wi-Fi? I mean, look, I'm not even going to the damn Skirvin Hotel. So if you want to go to the moon, I'm all for you going to the moon. Look, if they, I will not. If they got Wi-Fi and you know some some good restaurants where I can get a steak, I'm there. Uh, Houston, we have a problem. Thank you. Uh, here is my final thought on this. Mm. I agree with you that he was. Totally joking. I think he was bullshit. Yeah. Because the follow-up was very important, but also it's so. 
They're in a higher up position. Any mm-hmm. athlete that's well known, mm-hmm. even if it's a level below Steph Curry in like the tier two, tier three, where they say some outlandish shit on a podcast, mm-hmm. everybody runs with it. And then you know what happens? You get someone like NASA, or if it's mm-hmm. another formula like, I don't know, like Jurassic Park mm-hmm. with Jordan Clarkson Classic. being like, come to Jurassic Park. And then they get all the perks just because they're just like BSing everybody. It's a podcast. You know what podcasts do? They're entertaining. I do have an issue with the dinosaurs, though. Because well, with Jordan Clarkson? Well, it's just, I know, I believe the dinosaurs was here. Where are we at? I don't know. See, that part has bothered me for a long time. Like, mm-hmm. okay, I get it. I see the bones. I believe that there was these big dinosaurs and everything here. Where were the humans? And if we were gone, how do we get back? Mm-hmm. Do, we, do we have an answer? Anybody there? No, no answer? See, that's what I'm saying. Nobody has, nobody has a good answer to that. You know, Godzilla was here, and we, we found the bones, but there's no bones of us. I'm just saying. I'm just saying it, it doesn't make any sense to me. You can do you the Godzilla You have a problem. <laughs> now, yeah, hit me uh, with the other one. You want Godzilla again? Yeah, hit me with it. <laughs> Look at all these dinosaurs and not one of us. When Fred Flintstone, when they made the Flintstone, <laughs> Fred was with the dinosaurs, right? Uh-huh. Fred and Barney and uh-huh. Wilma. It was Betty, man. Betty was hot, boy. Woo! Uh-huh. But all right. the name porn. Is that uh-huh. <laughs> but uh-huh. in real life, they say, hey, the dinosaurs roamed the earth. And then a big meteor hit and killed all the dinosaurs. Uh-huh. And then we showed up the next day. Some something's awful about it. I'm just saying. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. So you and Elon Musk huh. should have a conversation about going back in time, and you could be our first. Oh, I believe in time travel, and I believe in the multiverse. Alrighty. Yeah. Mm. Somehow we yeah. end on that. Let us yeah. know your thoughts. Comment <laughs> section below. Subscribe to TYT Sports. Hit, f- hit me with the Godzilla one more time. Watch the Flash. You know all about the Speed Force and the multiverse. Yeah, the Spider Verse is coming out this weekend too. Bulls and arrow. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> Do you guys want full TYT episodes? Yeah! So download YouTube TV and get a seven day free week trial.